Hey guys, welcome to On Two Wheels. This is Ducati's new 899 Panigale. And this is MV Augusta's new F3800. We've brought both bikes out to Chuckwalla Valley Raceway to see how they stack up. Ducati coined the word super mid when it introduced the 899 Panigale. The idea being it's the size of a middleweight but has super bike power. The 899 is the little brother to Ducati's flagship 1199 Superbike. There's no electronically adjustable suspension or sexy single-sided swing arm, but it shares the same over-square super quadro engine design, frameless monocoque chassis, and extensive suite of electronic rider aids. Think of it as a gateway Panigale. Like the Ducati, the MV offers a vast array of electronics, including adjustments for engine braking, rev limit, throttle response, and traction control. So, how does all of this technology translate? Here's where we find out. The first thing you'll notice about the F3800 is tremendous but usable power, much more dynamic than the horribly peaky 675 engine. The MV also gets a gold star for handling and brakes. Stellar stopping power and an agile chassis make this bike a blast to fling through corners. Unfortunately, yet again, MV Augusta has handicapped an otherwise capable bike with useless traction control and a terrible rider interface. We went fastest and had the most fun with the traction control turned off, which begs the question, why is this bike more expensive than the Panigale? Ducati's baby Panigale definitely feels compact, which is appealing at first, but a narrow gas tank and slippery foot pegs make it hard to hold on to at speed. Similar to a four-cylinder 600, the Super Quadro engine has precious little mid-range power. But get it spinning above 8,000 RPM, and you'll keep an excellent traction control system very busy. The 899 also drives out of corners much smoother than its big brother, but that's probably just because it has less power. Even still, when it comes time to slow down, brakes lack bite and feel, especially compared to the MV. When it comes down to it, neither one of these Italian exotics is really what we want in a sport bike. Yep, as it happens, they're sort of the worst of both worlds in a lot of ways. If it was my money, I absolutely would not buy an MV Augusta. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither would I. The Ducati is what a Ducati's always been. It sounds cool, the electronics actually work, and in the case of the 899, it might actually be better than an 1199. Yep, so if we've got to crown a winner, we're crowning the new Panigale. That's it for this episode of On Two Wheels. Tune in next time to see what we've got going on.